Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda, if you're new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. This is gonna be a what I eat in a day on WW Blue, showing you guys some food inspiration. So I hope you guys are interested in this video. If you are, give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoy it. Um, subscribe if you're not, leave a comment down below, and let's just jump into my first meal, which is going to be my coffee and my breakfast. And I do tend to go a little heavier on my breakfast because it's my favorite meal, keeps me full all day, and then I don't have to eat lunch until quite a bit later if I have a really good breakfast. So that is what we're gonna do. And then after breakfast, we take the dogs on a W-A-L-K. <laughs> We're waiting for Joey to get home, my husband, he works nights. Um, and then when he gets home, we take them on a walk a -do. So, I'm gonna give them a treat to tie them over while I make breakfast. Okay, sit. Let's give you... Sit. Sit. Good boy. Sit, Brixie. Good girl. Here you go. Here you go. These are from BarkBox. It's called On the Lamb. And they really like them. This is Brooks, if you guys are new to my channel. This is Brooks. He is my boy. My little baby boy. And then this is Brixie. She thinks I have a tree in my hand. Um, she's my girl. And they are the best, sweetest dogs ever. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I have to have ice in my coffee. So I'm adding ice into my little glass that I have here. I didn't mention this, but I already drank like a whole two cups, three cups of water. I chug it. That's the first thing I do in the morning. Like right before I brush my teeth, I just chug a ton of water. Um, so I didn't show that, but I always start my morning off that way, whether it's like two to three cups of water, first thing before coffee, because when you're sleeping, you're just dehydrated. <laughs> and especially me, living in Florida, it's super humid and hot. Um, so the first thing I do when I wake up is drink some water. And then for my coffee, I'm using the Dark Roast Starbucks iced coffee. I love this, it's so good. Um, it's just one of my favorite coffees. So sometimes I have hot coffee, um, but most of the time I do like to have cold coffee. Um, so yeah, that's currently what I've been drinking. I'm adding some Friendly Farms Vanilla Creamer. Um, this is from Aldi, and I'm only gonna add one tablespoon of this. Actually, we'll do two. We're gonna do two tablespoons because this is kind of a larger cup of coffee. And I do a one third cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk pour that in there. That's the trick is to use like an unsweetened milk with a creamer. One third cup is zero. So my coffee today is going to be four smart points. Usually I can get my coffee to be two or three points if I use sugar free, but whenever I use a real creamer, it's always around four points, but that's okay. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I love coffee, you guys. So four smart points for that. Um, and then I'm gonna make breakfast after I drink my coffee. I like to do that, kind of fill myself up with my water and my coffee liquid, and then wait a little while and have some breakfast. So I will see you guys when I make my breakfast. All right, I have my coffee. I am finishing a video that's gonna be posted. You guys would have already seen this video. Um, if you haven't, check it out. It'll be at the end screen. Um, but that's what I like to do is drink my coffee, finish editing up a video, because it takes a while. Um, <laughs> And I like to take just like an hour or so to work. Um, oh, actually, I don't know why I'm doing that. This is definitely work. <laughs> it's my job. Um, if you guys are wondering, I use Filmora 9 um, to edit my videos. I really love it. It's a yearly subscription. I think I paid $69.99 for a year. Um, or I don't, I don't know if it was a year or if it was life. That might have been the life. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And that's what I use to edit my videos with. That you guys watch and I love you for that <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up and then we'll go on a walk when Joey gets home all right so for breakfast I'm gonna make a cabbage little hash I've never made this before but I've made something kind of similar so 
I'm just using coleslaw mix, so it has carrots and cabbage. This is a cup. I'm gonna try to make a big one for breakfast, hopefully. It keeps me full. I have a green onion here. I'm just gonna cut up in there for some greenery. And I, I love green onion. So I'm cutting up some of that. I'm gonna add some flaxseed instead of flour in replacement of white flour. We're gonna add two tablespoons of flaxseed. I'm gonna add an egg, just one egg in there. And then I'm going to add some grated Parmesan cheese. We're gonna do one tablespoon of cheese. And then just mix that up together. We're just gonna cook it on each side for about three minutes on medium high. Get it nice and crispy. That's what it looks like though. how it looks I think I might have burnt it a little bit oh no that's actually pretty good I did not burn it it's nice and brown and crispy I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit let it cook on that side okay I have some avocado these are mini avocados mini Haas avocados I got from Aldi um, oh, it keeps changing. <laughs> it's 29 grams of avocado. So that's kind of a lot of avocado. And 29 grams, I believe, is only two smart points. All right, guys. I have my avocado, my cabbage, flaxseed, little pancake, and then some ketchup and water. Big thing of water with some lime slices and lime juice I squeezed in here. A little bit of ice and this will be my breakfast okay real quick I wanted to show you guys Joey's lunch he got home from work went on a walk and now he's ready to eat so I showed this in my last video this is what I had for dinner but I only had one roll excuse me five smart points for the mashed potatoes and they're so good I added one tablespoon worth of butter for one smart point for him so two steak roll-ups is eight smart points, but you can have one for four is what I did. So yeah, this is his meal, but I wanted to show you guys this like meal idea because you could definitely make this Weight Watchers friendly. So yummy, look at that. The recipe for this will be down below if you guys want to check it out. I just really want sliced cheese. <laughs> Little snack. So some sliced cheese. We're going there. To use the ultra thin Colby Jack cheese. Also gonna have a little pickle. These are the best pickles in the world. You can only get them from Florida though. They're Florida made pickles. Um, they're so good you guys. I only have two left. I'm really sad because I love them. It is lunchtime. I'm really hungry. So I have this pre-cooked um, shrimp. For the marinade, I only added three tablespoons of the marinade. So I definitely don't use all of it. So it lasts a really good while because you only need a little bit. It's very thick too. And then I'm gonna add some lemon juice. There we go. So I added the shrimp and now I'm just gonna let everything kind of cook through and then we'll plate it up. All right, I'm gonna add one third cup of rice and quinoa to my bowl and I'm gonna save the rest for another day. And I made a lot of veggies and shrimp. So I have a lot here. I'm going to have leftovers for sure. That's the leftover. I will be able to get another two portions. And here we go. It's done. So simple, so easy, but it's gonna be really, really yummy. I love, love doing this and making recipes like this. All right, there's the leftovers for another day. 
Leftovers are the best. So this will probably be like lunch for tomorrow. Snack, I am having green apples with lemon sugar-free jello mix. Super yummy, zero smart points. Tastes like freaking candy. <laughs> All right, for dinner, I am making something out of that recipe book. I've been using the same recipe book for like all my meals, I feel like. The Homestyle Cooking Recipe Book. I have some chicken breast, frozen peas, two cans of tomato sauce, stewed tomatoes, and artichokes and onions. I'm also gonna be adding some salt and pepper, garlic powder, and I think that is it. And I'm going to just cook this all in a skillet, starting with the chicken first and browning that, then adding the onion and artichoke and everything else, and then you let it just kind of all simmer together. Okay, you guys, I have some spaghetti squash here. If you don't already know, you can microwave your spaghetti squash, you guys and it takes literally 10 minutes compared to like almost an hour I feel like it takes in the oven. So I'm just picking out the seeds right now and I'm just like tossing the spaghetti squash together, ripping it apart so that it gets that like pasta texture. So that is a little trick if you did not know, you can do that. And then over here, I have all of the ingredients going and simmering, the chicken, artichoke, peas, tomatoes, and some seasonings. I will, of course, leave this recipe down in the description box for you guys if you want to make it. All right, you guys, here is my plate. I have a salad, and then I have the spaghetti squash with the chicken and tomato mixture with the peas, and I added some Parmesan on top. And yeah, this is what dinner looks like, which looks really good. I just did a workout on Amazon Prime. You guys, these little workouts I'm doing on Amazon Prime are amazing. Yeah, they're animated and I can just follow them so much better when they're this way. Um, yeah, I just can get through it way faster. So I did that workout. I'm almost done, I have five more minutes. Um, I'm taking a water break, 25 seconds, so that's pretty much up. So I'm gonna get back to it, and then I'm going to shower, because I am a sweaty mess, but in a good way. I actually forgot I was filming halfway through this. So I was like, oh crap, I'm filming. This is the last thing I'm gonna eat tonight. I'm eating peanut butter belt bar. I microwaved it in the microwave, so it's nice. Gooey. This is a freaking protein bar. <laughs> um, yeah. Just got out of the shower. I sprayed this in my hair. I love this stuff. Um, oh my gosh, this is so nice. I also put this on for my moisturizer every night along with my blue tansy, oh, my uh, soothing blue tansy oil I love this stuff it's almost gone that's why the lids like halfway off because I have to like pour it into my hands I like to put that on at night so I put that on put that stuff in my hair and I'm ready for bed <laughs> 